Welcome to EGL Community Edition. EGL, IBM's newest business language, shields you from the complexities of the environments where you deploy your applications. In the next few minutes, you'll learn how to use EGL to create a Web 2.0 style interface to display and change the contents of a MySQL database. What you're about to see is based on a tutorial that creates a household budget. You can download the complete tutorial from the EGL Cafe, a collection of resources for the EGL community. For more information, browse to ibm.com slash rational slash EGL Cafe or Google EGL Cafe. The entire tutorial takes about an hour and a half, so you'll only get highlights here. The tutorial walks you through the download and installation of the MySQL database and the creation of a budget table, then shows you how to connect the database to EGL. EGL uses the familiar Eclipse interface, where you'll find many of the basic settings in the Preferences window. Create a new connection profile, MySQL type, and name it MySQL Budget Connection. Create a new driver definition using the default name. Point to the connector J jar file for MySQL and update the properties to point to your budget table. Now EGL can find your database. It's time to start writing code. Organize your EGL files in projects, which typically correspond to applications, and packages within the project. Call this one Budget EGL Project. EGL automatically creates folders for your source files and your web content, as well as a deployment descriptor file, which we'll come back to later, and a build descriptor file. The build descriptor file affects the way EGL generates Java and JavaScript from EGL source files. In this tutorial, you'll generate a Java service and a rich UI web page as JavaScript. EGL automatically sets up the build descriptor options for you based on the connection you just created. To process a row from the table, EGL needs a storage area in the form of a record. Create a new EGL source file and name it Budget Records. Put it in the records package which EGL creates for you. When the new file opens in the editor, provide a name and a type for the record. EGL can use your database connection to retrieve column information. Make one addition, which is to specify the table name associated with this record. These EGL properties provide additional information about an EGL part. In EGL, a part is a unit of code, such as a record or a service. Speaking of services, you'll create one next. To keep things simple, we'll set it up as a dedicated service, which means only the current application can use it. Name the new service Budget Service and put it in the services package. Because this is a dedicated service, you don't select any of the web service checkboxes or specify an interface. Copy and paste the service functions from the tutorial instructions. EGL flags errors as you type and resolves all the undefined symbols it can when you tell it to organize imports. In this case, it imports the budget record file you created earlier. When you save the file, EGL automatically generates Java from the EGL source. A rich UI web page contains reusable elements called widgets. EGL comes with its own widget library and a library of Dojo widgets. The centerpiece of this application is a grid that holds all the rows from the database. You'll build this grid from existing widgets. Create a new EGL source file named expense grid and put it in the widgets package. EGL considers a widget to be a type of handler, a program that responds to events such as mouse clicks. Copy and paste the contents from the tutorial instructions, which include more detailed explanations of the code. Private functions provide formatting for the cells in the grid, and externally visible functions get and set grid data. Finish up by organizing your imports and saving the file. The next step is to create a rich UI handler to display the grid you just created. Name the file Data View Handler and put it in the Handlers package. The file opens in Design View, where you can drag widgets onto the page from the palettes that EGL provides. However, for this exercise, you'll be working in the Source View. Copy and paste handler code from the tutorial. The main tasks here are to create variables to represent the service in various parts of the web page, including the grid. You also create buttons to add rows, delete rows, or refresh the data. You provide for error messages, and you call the budget service you created earlier to handle the dirty work of database I.O. As usual, finish up by organizing imports and saving the file. Believe it or not, you're now ready to run the application. You haven't deployed the files to a server yet, so this is just a debug version. 
However, it is fully functional and communicates with the working database. All you have to do is click the Preview tab. Because the database is empty, your application creates sample data for testing. Click Add to add a row. Enter a new description, such as pet supplies, and a dollar amount for the budget in this category, such as 30. Select the Utilities row, then click Delete. To restore the original sample data, click Load Default Data. Everything seems to work, so you can now deploy the application to a server. For this, you need a web server. You can download and install the open source Tomcat server from Apache within the EGL Workbench. In the Servers view, right click the empty space and click New and Server. Pick the Tomcat 6.0 server, click Next, and click Download and Install. The tutorial walks you through the installation process. To deploy the budget application to your new server, go back to the deployment descriptor that EGL created as part of the new project. Double click the file to open it in the EGL editor. Because you created the data view handler through the wizard, EGL already added it to the list of rich UI handlers to deploy. You don't need to bind any web services because you're using a dedicated service. All you need is an EGL web project for your HTML page. Name the project Budget Web and verify that it uses the Tomcat server you installed. When you click Finish, EGL creates a new project for you. The actual deployment is automatic. After it's done, be sure to restart your server. The new Budget Web project contains a Data View Handler HTML file. Right click the file, click Run As, and Run on Server. Tomcat serves the file to a browser in the workbench where you can put it through its paces. With a few simple lines of code, you can add a pie chart widget to the web page. Copy and paste the code from the tutorial instructions. The code adds a Dojo pie chart widget. As always, don't forget to organize your imports and save the page. Double click the label for any view to expand it to the size of the window. Say your landlord has increased your rent but is now paying all bills. As you change data in the grid, and therefore in the database, EGL redraws the pie chart to reflect the new percentages. This example is simple, but the technology behind it is extremely powerful. You can use EGL Community Edition to quickly create full-featured applications that take advantage of the latest Web 2.0 technologies.